Good morning, students. Welcome to RPS Group of Schools online classes of science. Today, we will be continuing with the chapter Reaching the Age of Adolescence for Class 8, Module 4. In this Module 4, we will learn about menstruation in women. We will come to know about sex determination and lastly, we will discuss the reproductive health of adolescents. Reprodu reproductive phase in humans. The reproductive stage starts with the beginning of puberty and it is observed in boys and girls at near about same age. But reproductive phase in males remain much longer in comparison with females. In women, the reproductive phase starts at puberty near about 10 to 12 years of age and lasts till about 50 years of age. When girls reach the age of adolescence, they enter into the age when they are capable of reproduction. The reproductive age in girls begins right from the age of 10 to 12 years. At the onset of puberty, the ovaries in girls start to mature. Every month one ovum gets matured and then gets released by the ovaries. This procedure happens once in 28 to 30 days approximately. The process includes cyclic changes in the ovaries and in the uterus, both simultaneously. Menstruation In females, each month, one egg is set free by either of the ovaries. The release of ovum by the rupture of mature graphene follicle is called ovulation. The uterus forms a thickening to support a fetus to keep it ready in case of pregnancy. But if fertilization of egg does not take place, then egg and thickening in uterus are removed in small parts. As a result, bleeding in the vagina takes place for some days. Bleeding through vagina at the end of the menstrual cycle is known as menstruation. Or the cycle of breakdown of wall of uterus and its blood capillaries causes menstrual flow every 28th day called menstruation or menstrual cycle. The sequence of events starts from the release of an egg until egg gets removed is called menstrual cycle. A menstrual cycle normally comprises of 28 to 30 days. Menarche Menarche is the medical term for a woman's first menstruation commonly first period. Menstruation is a monthly shedding of the uterine wall in the form of bleeding through vagina. Menopause. Stoppage of menstruation is known as menopause. Actually, it is the ending of menstrual cycle and it is observed at around the age of 45 to 50 in case of women. Menopause indicates the end of reproductive phase. Let's talk about sex determination. All human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes in the nuclei of their cells. Two chromosomes out of these are of the sex chromosomes named X and Y. A female has two X chromosomes while a male has X and one Y chromosome.
the gametes have only one set of chromosomes. The unfertilized ovum always has one X chromosome. But in the male gametes or sperms, there exists one kind having an X chromosome and the other kind having a Y chromosome. When a sperm containing X chromosome fuses with an egg, it develops into a female child. When a sperm containing Y chromosome fuses with an egg, it develops into a male child. Now let's talk about the reproductive health in adolescents. Personal hygiene. Personal hygiene is very important, especially during teenage. As we already know, adolescence is the onset of puberty. Therefore, one must be ready to embrace the various pubertal changes in the body. Personal level hygiene mainly indicates cleanliness, adequate rest and sleep, physical exercise, etc. Sweat glands and oil glands are more active during this stage. This could cause more sweating and secretion of oils. Increased activity of sweat glands sometimes makes the body smelly. It also leads to acne. All parts of the body should be washed and cleaned every day. If cleanliness is not maintained, there are chances of catching bacterial and fungal infections. Regular walk, outdoor games and workouts are important for adolescents. These help them remain physically fit and healthy. Nutritional need of the adolescents. Adolescence is a stage of rapid growth and development. A growing body requires all the nutrients. Hence, a balanced diet is very important at this stage for adolescents. Here, balanced diet means that the meals should include proteins, carbohydrates, fats, minerals, and vitamins in requisite proportion. Therefore, all the teenagers should consume a balanced diet and not the junk food. Nowadays, fast food, bakery products, fried items and other junk foods are gaining enormous popularity among adolescents. The daily consumption of fast food has invited many diseases including obesity, vitamin deficiency diseases and also affecting the reproductive health both physically and emotionally in adolescents. Say no to drugs. Adolescent age incorporates different changes in the mind and body of the individual. As a result, the adolescents may feel a little uneasy sometimes. A person goes through various stages of psychological and physical changes during adolescence. Sometimes this result in lots of anxiety. However, they should understand that this is natural and they should not be worried about it. Thus, it is often noticed that boys and girls get influenced by friends. Under peer pressure, they tend to indulge in smoking or taking drugs to get relief from their stress. They should always say no to that as taking drugs can be dangerous for their health. Drugs should be taken only on the prescription of a doctor. This is because the drugs are addictive and once a person takes them, they feel like taking them again and again. As a result, the mental and physical health of the person starts 
getting affected due to drugs. Also, taking drugs through syringes can cause AIDS, that is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. This disease is caused by a hazardous virus that can get transmitted from an infected person to another through the use of same syringes. So, the adolescents should say strictly no to drugs. With this, we end up module 4. That's all for this chapter, students. Take care of yourself. Thank you.